In this video, I review five books that all bird watchers should read coming up right after this. Hello guys, my name is Eddie, and on this channel, not only do I teach you about nature, but I also teach you how to enjoy nature, so be sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications. These are five books about bird watching and birds that not only should all bird watchers read, but even if you are not a quote unquote bird watcher or birder, if you read one of these books, you might have a greater appreciation for birds and bird watching, and you will be more likely to try the hobby of birding yourself. So the first book that I recommend is called Good Birders Don't Wear White. This is a book that is a compilation of a bunch of different essays from some of the best expert birders in North America. And all of these essays give some awesome tips on how to improve your birding experience, how to become a better bird watcher. It has advice from everything on how to set up your backyard bird feeder to what you should wear when you go bird watching. And like I said, a lot of the essays are pretty engaging and entertaining. So this is definitely a book that if you are getting into birding, I would definitely read. The next book that I recommend is called The Thing with Feathers by Noah Stricker. And this book basically explores the amazing capabilities that a lot of birds have. It looks at the intelligence of birds, the adaptive abilities, the extreme ways they have evolved, and each chapter is based on a specific bird. Uh, for example, in one chapter he talks about the extreme capabilities of hummingbirds, their extreme metabolisms, how they're able to fly so fast and why they have evolved that way. He has another chapter that's about the amazing navigation capabilities of pigeons. So even if you are not a birder or a bird watcher, I would definitely recommend this book because it's just amazing science. The next book I recommend is called King Bird Highway by Ken Kaufman. And Ken Kaufman is very well known in the birding community. He's published a lot of field guides and this book is basically about his life and him growing up and the extreme lengths that he went to to go birding. And in case you haven't heard of it, there's this whole concept of a big year where you try to see as many species of birds as possible uh, in a year. And he was basically one of the pioneers of the people who made the concept of a big year really popular. And it's just fascinating seeing what this guy did. He would literally hitchhike across the country with very little money. Uh, just to see birds as a teenager. And I wouldn't say the book is really so much about birds, but it's really sort of more about the craziness about listing and the whole competitive phenomenon that has come with birding. And probably the most important takeaway that I got from the book was that when you're birding competitively, trying to see as many species as you can, at the end of the day, what it really should be about is the birds loving nature and conservation. And not just about how long your year list is or whatever, the next book I recommend is called Birding Without Borders, and this book is about a big year as well, uh, but it's about a global big year where one guy uh, traveled across the entire planet to see as many species as possible in a single year in the entire world. And it was actually written by the same guy who wrote The Thing with Feathers, Noah Stricker, and because of this, Noah Stricker has become relatively famous in the birding community. It's a fascinating book. It's an absolutely exhilarating adventure that he had traveling to the most amazing places. He met all types of people in all types of political and cultural situations that it just seemed like it was absolutely amazing and really exhausting. And he makes two really good points about birding in the book. And one of his points is that there's a lot more people out there in the world who care about birds and the conservation of birds than a lot of us realize. And the second point is that the world of birding has changed with technology and the internet and social media. It's really cool because now you can meet birders from all over the world. You can connect with other birders and share your experiences in ways that you never could before. So yeah, I would definitely recommend this as a must read. And then my last recommendation is arguably the most famous book in the birding world. And that is The Big Year. And everyone knows about this book because they made a famous movie out of it with the famous actors, Jack Black, Steve Martin, and Owen Wilson. <laughs> and it's about the North American Big Year in 1998 where three guys competed to see as many species as possible. And it's very well written. It's written in a reporter at large style. And it really teaches you a lot about the hobby of birding, a lot about the competitiveness of birding. But really this book gets at something deeper than just birding and that is the American dream. 
which is also a dream that exists all over the world, and that is that you work hard in life, you put in the time, and then finally one day, you'll have the freedom to just basically do whatever you want. And that's what the characters in the book did. They had worked really hard, they all came from backgrounds with very little money growing up, and they saved up all their money for one day when they had the freedom, where they finally just get to sit back and relax for a year and do something that they absolutely love. It's a fascinating read, and even if you have seen the movie The Big Year already, I definitely suggest that you read it. Anyways guys, thank you very much for watching. I know that some of you guys want me to make a video on how to choose binoculars when you're buying binoculars. You know, what are the best budget binoculars? I'm working on that video. And remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thank you guys. Remember that exploring nature is always an adventure. Peace out.